All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm going to try to rip through this video really fast because obviously I'm not at home, still not in my home studio, filming this sitting on the ground <laughs> with the camera. Anyway, it's neither here nor there, but we're going to watch a video of James the Texecutioner, get it, uh, Vic, getting his jaw dislodged from his face in his fight from Saturday night, which he has now announced will be his last professional fight in MMA, okay? So some of you may remember James Vic from the Gaethje fight. Gaethje was coming off two losses, Alvarez and Dustin Poirier, and then he got in this fight with James, or, you know, obviously a sanctioned fight with James Vic, and James Vic was super nasty in the buildup. Thank you, man. It's your last main event. You're about to be uh, on a three-fight losing streak and, and shipping your ass back to the B-League to fight tomato cans again. And I'll still have more money in my bank account. I got more well, money than you right now, bro. I, I fought four times in the last year, and I won my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, bo of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not going to take a beating, but you will get knocked the fuck out. You take, you take 10 significant strikes per minute. That's 50 shots a round that you're, you, ain't lasting, you ain't lasting three rounds of me <laughs> taking all that beating like that. Uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, bo of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not going to take a beating, but you will get knocked the fuck out. Uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, bo of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not going to take a beating, but you will get knocked the fuck out. Hey, yo, hey, yo, dog, you're the, you're the Homer Simpson of MMA, that guy. Right. And then uh, Justin Gaethje started the end of his career because going into that fight, James Vick was four and oh in his last four fights. Uh, now, before we get into it, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Like I said, this is not my normal setup. So if you subscribe, don't think you're going to be looking at a guy who's got his arm on a bed sitting on the ground. OK, I have a nice studio. Go look at some of my older stuff outside of the last week that I've been sitting here. Uh, anyway, so. So what to talk about first? All right. So I guess the, the relevant information is how was James Vick prior to the Justin Gaethje fight, okay? And I promise we're gonna get right into this thing. But Justin Gaethje uh, started the downwards. This guy was, I believe, 12 and one, right? Going into the Justin Gaethje fight, four fights in a row that he had won. And then Justin Gaethje dirt napped him. Then he lost the next three fights also, two of them by knockout, one by uh, Dan Hooker knocked him out, Nico Price knocked him out, Paul Felder beat him by dominant decision, okay? So he, go, he, he gets cut from UFC. He waits 15 months, okay? And he goes to XMMA. That's the fight you're about to see. And he's fighting against Andre Fialho. Okay. Now, Andre Fialho, just to put into perspective, this guy's not like some vicious, young, up and coming fight or fighter, right? This guy in his last, uh, let's see, before that fight, he was two and five, uh, two and four in his last six, and he had lost three in a row. Okay. So James Vick is fighting this dude, had lost his last three fights. Okay. And the, and the, the ones that he won were by split decision. Okay. So this guy has not decisively beat a person in his last seven fights. He's lost four, uh, his last six fights, I'm sorry. Lost four, uh, won two by split decision, okay? So let's just watch this thing, all right? Let's jump into this right now, and we'll watch it together. Boom. Look at this. Look at this guy, all right? <laughs> See, I, what I never, it actually looks like, uh, I think Vic uh, did juice. I think he juiced up in between his last fight and this one, too. I think he took 14 months. He's like, if I'm going to fall fight in a smaller organization, I'm going to juice up. That's what he looks like to me, anyway. Uh, I'm not making any straight accusations, but he looks a lot bigger to me. But I never understood, like, when I started watching him at the Gaethje fight, I was like, how is this guy ever any good? Look at how flat-footed he is. He has no explosive. Like, look at how his punches. That's what his punches look like. I, don't, I mean, he's tall, but he doesn't use his range well. Oh, my God. Oh! Dude, watch how many times he hits him with that uppercut. It's unbelievable. I'm trying to figure out which one broke his jaw, you know. But, uh, I mean, he, he hits him with that one uppercut literally, like, five times. Watch this. Boom! Again. Boom! Oh! 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 oh. Or maybe he hit him with it five times before I uh, brought it up. So, boom, that's the knockout, right? Look at that. Look at that picture. Boom. So, yeah, I, I don't like, uh, you know, standing on people's graves. Like, it, they still are a fighter that I respect, and, you know, it's the end of their career, and it's kind of sad. But, uh, you know, I just, again, I, I'm not trying to be a prick. I just never understood how, like, when I, because I started watching him right around when he fought Gaethje, and I was just like, I don't understand how this guy, how could this guy have been winning fights? Like, he looks so flat-footed his is he's not explosive i don't understand why anyone would be afraid of getting hit by him it's i don't know i i couldn't see it but anyway uh if you like the content subscribe and ring the bell normally i have a lot more insight you know like this is a, a less insightful video than uh, my normal stuff so go check out some of my stuff i promise it's a very unique uh, mma channel we're not just talking x's and o's we are talking about the the, the humanity the humanity uh yeah so that's it if you like the content subscribe ring the bell tell your friends peace